Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Philippians chapter 4 verses 5. Hello family, warmest welcome back again to the channel. Thank you so much for coming Today back. we have most delicious mouth watering and juiciest meatloaf recipe that comes with an African thigh. And this is going to be graciously paired with some fluffy buttered mashed potatoes this is absolutely suitable for all occasions and more do you really want to miss this i don't think so please stay tuned while we make this together please let's go through the ingredients for the meatloaf we have here one kilo of lean minced meat and i'm going to season this with some vegetables i have here some red and white onions spring onions we we'll also have here some fresh rosemary garlic and ginger some breadcrumbs sliced carrots and i also have some salt and my all natural spice mix i also have one egg and some olive oil to go with it i'm going to prepare the seasoning right away i'll go ahead and add all the vegetables in the bowl add about a tablespoon of olive oil and roughly blend everything together to partially blend this but if you have picky kids who do not want to see anything vegetables in their food then i will highly recommend that you use your blender to blend this smoothly okay so here i add my all natural spice blend and the salt and the blended vegetables also go in as well give it a good mix until everything is well combined you can also choose to add everything at once but this is me i just wanted to choose to add each and every one of them separately just to make sure that they have really really been mixed well <laughs> okay so absolutely looking gorgeous <laughs> so i felt the need to add a bit of salt more so i added about one tablespoon more salt and then goes in my egg the egg here is going to serve as a binder okay you can choose to add one more but i felt like the one to this one kilo of minced meat was just enough goes in my breadcrumbs now it is about four tablespoons spoons and this is going to make your meat loaves very firm so the more you add the firmer your meat loaves become also highly recommend not to overload or bombard it with lots of breadcrumbs as it's going to be very very tough and it's going to lose all its juiciness with this type of meat loaf you want it to be very juicy but in the same time you don't want it to be breaking so just choose in between i used four tablespoon for one kilo of the meat just so you know okay very very simple absolutely looking gorgeous time for me to prepare my loaf pan and i'm going to add this leaf authentic african Ghanaian leaf to it it makes it absolutely delicious someone commented that i should stop using the leaf because if our ancestors had an option they would not use it and i'm like are you sure this is eco-friendly so absolutely it is allowed and it's absolutely great to use it to serve your meals or even use in your cooking as i am doing so give it that authentic special taste that you're not going to get anywhere okay so if you have leaves please use them it is going to make it absolutely delicious and healthy there you go go ahead and fill it until it is full and it can take no more <laughs> absolutely gorgeous and we are ready to put it in the oven so good <laughs> so i preheated my oven at 175 degrees and it's going in for about 40 minutes just to make sure it is well cooked in the inside once it's there i'll just go ahead and prepare my super 
yummy yummy fluffy mashed potatoes in my hot boiling water i add a diced about 400 grams of potatoes and i added a tablespoon of butter and salt allow it to cook for about seven to ten minutes until it is soft and you will be good to go all that you do is to drain off the water from the potatoes and begin to mash it with your potato masher or even a fork or whatever that you have okay make sure that you mash it until there is no absolutely traces of lambs in there okay and once that is done i'll add about three tablespoons of cooking cream it is going to make it absolutely yummy <laughs> and creamy as well i'll make sure i mix everything together i want this mashed potatoes extra fluffy i'll also go in with my whisking machine i'll whisk it for about three minutes <sighs> not been whisking your mashed potatoes please do so it's absolutely fluffy and just so light and yummy incredibly delicious when done this way kids go absolutely wild for this <laughs> so i'm super certain that once you try it your kids are going to love this so 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 much so right now it's time for us to garnish it with a bit of butter and some basil leaf just to make sure that everything is looking so so nice just look at this we need some vegetables i cooked some baby cabbage is the season here absolutely love them so much and i also chopped some red onions and sprinkle a little bit of olive oil and some salt so simple it was absolutely delicious the crunch of the onions was just everything this times all that you have to do is just go simple that is all it is so so simple and just so so delicious now let's go and check on our meatloaf and it's absolutely gorgeous oh my god the aroma was intensive and just so so flavorful you just want to eat it <laughs> that's all that will come in your mind and it's gone by i just wanted to make sure that everything is well cooked and was just perfect <laughs> so i'm going to drain all that beautiful yummy juices for a gravy that will be served together with this absolutely gorgeous but i thought it was looking a little bit pale so i'm going to make some ketchup and barbecue glaze to just make it all gorgeous and nice i also crushed some dried peppers if you don't mind please go for this but this is absolutely optional and yeah we are done all that you have to do is just heat it up for about one minute ish and just go ahead and spread it on your meatloaf oh this was so so good <laughs> looking beautiful and gorgeous isn't it absolutely delicious not only looking beautiful but it was just so tasty this went so fast the kids absolutely loved it so so much and yes you need to give this a try i promise you thank you so much family for watching through the end i really do appreciate your time so so much and please be sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the whole process and if this is your first time here hello my name is lovia from love is touch my main goal here is to cheer you up into making your own delicious meal right at the comfort of your home i also love to share kitchen related motivational videos so please come on board subscribe and join the family for amazing new recipes every week thank you so very much for watching once again and just know that you are so so beautiful just the way you are see you in my next one Ha <laughs> ha!